What is up everybody, it's your boy Brando here with Brando Reviews and today we're checking out the SimCam Alloy 1S. This is an outdoor security camera, it has IP65 water resistance, two-way communication so you can speak to people and hear them, 1080p night vision so full HD and of course it also works with Alexa which is one of its cool features so you can use Alexa to enable and use certain things on this camera here. So you can see it has AI enabled facial recognition, no false alerts, no detection delay, subscription free, weatherproof, IP65, and AI multi-object detection, which goes along with that facial recognition. This can be purchased on Amazon right now for $99.99. So, oh God, the cat's puking. Jesus. Okay, so here's the foam right here. We're gonna move that right here. We have the user manual right here. Inside the box, you get the antenna right here. This mounts underneath the camera. The antenna right here is what allows it to connect to the Wi-Fi and for you to live view it anywhere. So on the app, you can view whatever this camera is seeing anywhere in the world with Wi-Fi. Here's the camera itself right here. You can see it right there. There's the camera right there. And it is a metal build quality. This is plastic, metal, and plastic here. So it has the mount right here. This is where our antenna is going to go, I believe, right here. Here's the back right here. This is how we're gonna attach the mounting bracket. And these are some of your power cords in here, as well as your micro SD card slot to store footage. If you just don't wanna live view it on the app, you can't put an SD card in here and go back in time and see what you missed. So on your camera right here at the very top, you have your microphone right here at the very top. Underneath it, you have your light sensor right here. You go here, you of course have your camera lens right here. Far bottom right here is your status LED telling you the current connection. You can see the little dot there. And then you also have your infrared LEDs, which are here and here behind the plastic. You can't see them right now. So we're going to set that down right here. And we're going to continue on. It's a sort of standard little cable right there. You can plug it in just like so. This is the back plate right here. This little plate right here just goes right over here. It just covers up all of your stuff right here. You can see you just slap it in place, leaving just enough room for your power cord to pop through right there. Wall mounting screws and a pin tool right here. That's to reset the device if you need to reset it. And the reset button is that little dot right there. It's a little hard to see, but that is the reset button. And you also get a SD card in the package right here. Micro SD 16 gigabytes. And you actually have your mount right here. This is how you actually mount the device. You can see one side has a little nook in it right there. You line that up with the nook right here. And then you enter your two little screws right here and here to secure it, which are in that bag. And then you have a full little swivel movement here. You can go in any direction you want just about. All right, so let's uh let's do it. So you're just gonna plug in your power cord right there and then you're going to put this cover over it right here as you can see. Once you put your little cover over, you're gonna take these little screws right here and you're gonna actually screw in your rubber plastic cover. One, two, and three over here. So that's gonna screw that in and secure it shut. The other two screws in the package that I mentioned before are gonna go right here and here. And that is what actually attaches this right here. You can see it has the two little screw holes and you just line it up and you're gonna put your screws through it there and there. So it's a little tedious, but it's not anything to worry about. Just get it done and it's over with. And before you screw on your cover right here, you're gonna first take your SD card right here and you're just going to insert it into the slot, just like so, click it down in place, and then your SD card is in there. So once you have all of that screwed in and done, you're just gonna grab your antenna right here and you're gonna screw it into the bottom of the camera. This is the bottom, I have it upside down right now. I'm just gonna twist it into place just like so. And we're going to align it up so that it can bend back this way. And then this is how the camera is gonna be mounted just like so. You can also move it around, but you can just adjust it to whatever's best for you. Um, but this is the way I see it in the pictures right there. So once it's plugged in, you can see there's a blinking green light. That means that the device is ready to pair. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the app and add the camera and take a look at the app's features. All right guys, so once you have the app downloaded, it's called Sim Home on the App Store very easy and quick to download. You're going to press add device at the very bottom here. We are going to press SIM cam alloy series here at the bottom. After the camera is powered on, please wait for 15 seconds until the indicator flashes green. We saw it flashing green already, so we're going to press next. And now I'm going to enter in the password for my Wi-Fi network. Now it asks me to name the device and choose the location. I'm gonna go with default and SIM coy alloy. However, you can change these of course right here by clicking them and I'm gonna press next. Choose your time zone here, American Chicago, different ones. That is actually going to work for us actually. And now it gives me a QR code. So I'm going to go over to the camera now and I'm going to scan this QR code. So here's the camera right here. Here's our QR code. I'm just gonna put it in front of the camera. Connecting Wi-Fi, please wait for a minute. And as you can hear, she said connecting Wi-Fi, please wait one minute. 
So once you have that done and you have the camera scan your QR code for you, it asks you about AI detection right here. We're going to press get started. Swipe down to refresh the list and our camera should be on here. You guys just heard the camera say it succeeded in connecting and it was as simple as scanning that QR code. There's no, no funny stuff to mess with. It's very simple, very easy to do. So I'm gonna press enter here real quick. It tells you everything you can do here. You can sound the alarm, it's a 100 decibel alarm. Enter land mode will turn off the internet access to video rights, real data here, and here's what the camera's seeing right up here. Okay, and as you can see right here, you have access to a lot of different things here. You can do picture or video, photo shot, video recording, you can see at the top there it is recording. You have your alarm right here, I'll do it real quick. Extremely loud. So we just checked out the alarm there very quickly. So after the alarm in the middle there, you have the two-way audio communication. When you press that, you can speak to whoever's on the other end of the camera and they can hear you as well. I'm not gonna press that because it messes with my audio recording and my video here. You also have a mute function to the far right there if you don't wanna hear the audio and you just wanna see the footage. Up here at the top, you have FHD there. That's the highest resolution. You also have HD and SD, which is the lowest resolution. Um, the benefits to using different ones, of course, is how much uh, space it takes up on your SD card. Uh, but you generally want to keep it at a higher resolution so you can see what is happening. Then up here at the very top, you have access to face ID. You can turn that on or off. This is the AI zone. You can also turn on or off pet detection, vehicle detection, personal detection, and object monitoring. So object monitoring basically just only alerts you whenever it senses motion in a certain area. So I'm just going to put my finger here, and if it detects any movement in that red box, it will tell me and nothing else. So you can set detection ranges just like so. I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to flip around and as you can see here you, at the very bottom you have a daily report it will tell you how many times it sends faces specific faces people pets or vehicles and then once you actually get some data in there you can click each one and it should take you to your video recording of that event so you can see what it was that drove by what animal it was that walked by or what face or person it detected I'll go over here to the middle you have history and history you can go up here and select different dates as well as times by sliding the lever right here or by sliding the scale right there. And you can see what the camera detected at that specific time. Over here in the library, you have your saved photos and videos. As we saw before, I took a quick photo, there it is. I also took a quick video, there it is as well. And up here at the far top right, you have the three dots. You click that, you can change your camera settings here, the brightness, contrast, and saturation of the camera mute functionality, night vision, and you can flip the camera vertically or horizontally, as well as toggle on person tracking. You go over here, you have your video encoding format, your camera schedule here. You can choose it to only record during certain times of the day. We do all day monitoring around here. You also have device sharing. If you want other people to be able to view this footage too, not just you, you can add them here so they can see live what's happening as well, up to five people. Then you also have camera info down here below, just information about the camera and then you can choose the alert video duration down here. Further down, you have the AI zone. So this actually allows you to connect it with Alexa, Google Assistant, or IFTTT. So you can turn the camera on or off through that. Kind of a cool feature. I don't see myself using that much, but it's nice that we have it. AI detection settings, we saw that before on the other page. You can change it here. Zone settings, vehicle detection, pet detection. And then you can actually mess with the face recognition here, add facial ID so that it knows who is who. Very neat, honestly. And then finally, you have AI triggered messages. So it will play a message or trigger the siren when the camera detects a person it recognizes. So if you want to keep someone away, you know, just send the alarm off. If you want to welcome somebody, hello, you can do that too. Really cool. So that's a quick look at all the settings here. There's a few more, but that covers it. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take a quick look at the video quality straight up. All right, guys. So the camera has been moved into the laundry room here. You are hearing me through the camera's audio. And as you can see, there's the iPad right there that we're looking at. Very nice. Just going to do a little bit of movement in here just to see if you guys can read some stuff. And as you guys can see, the resolution is fantastic. It's amazing. You can actually read everything just about. As you guys can hear, the night vision just clicked on right there. The infrared LEDs have taken over.
All right, guys, so that was a quick look at the SimCam Alloy 1S camera right here. This is a all-in-one AI outdoor security camera, which means it has AI intelligence. It can track and find faces, people, cars, motion. You can see the antenna there on the bottom. It has a full metal build quality for the most part up until here. And we looked at the footage, guys, and it looked really, really good. It wasn't the most vibrant I've ever seen. However, we did notice in the settings, you can go in there and change all those different settings to make it brighter or more attractive to you. But the quality was there. It was extremely clear. You can make out everything, which is what you want in a security camera. So if anybody's interested in this security camera, the SimCam Alloy 1S, there will be a link down below for purchase. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.